Alright, it is uh, Sunday. I've spent all day in the studio painting. I wouldn't necessarily say that I accomplished anything. I've been in this weird painting, anyway. Rut. Not even a rut. Just kind of like stuck. I guess it would be a rut. Not a rut. I'm in this place where I don't really know what I want to do. I got a lot of ideas. I got all these new papers. I got paper and paint from Japan. I tried to use today. Holy shit, that was really hard. Uh, I mean, that took like three or four hours alone, just layering up all this paint on rice paper. So that was, that was a little crazy. do an oversized painting on Tyvek, which is also a little crazy, uh, not what I'm used to. And then I tried another smaller painting on rice paper with Japanese paint, and that was also not what I'm used to or expect. So today, eh, here at the studio, a little frustrating, but that's okay. That's part of like, it's what I wanted, you know what I mean? Making shirts and stuff like that is a completely different process, and it's a little bit easier for me. So I'm trying to, um, trying to do different, different stuff. I don't, I don't even know why. Maybe just to piss myself off, because there's definitely plenty of times today where I was like extremely frustrated. Time to go home. I got this package a couple days ago. I've been waiting to open it because I want to open it on camera. Because I know who it's from. I know what it is. Y'all have heard me talk about you know, on Twitter. You see me interact with my boy Rack from Philly. Works with uh, Lapstone and Hammer. John Geiger affiliate. Probably the reason that John Geiger even knows who I am at all. He does a podcast, uh, Playground Politics, with my boy Crispy. His boy Crispy. I know all these people through Rack. Solid dude. Honestly, since last year been trying to work together on some sort of project it just hasn't aligned yet but he hooked me up he sent me out this hoodie that I know he's been whoa that I know he's been working on lapstone so laps laps dizzy and hizzy oh shit a little button look at that pin son my finger has black on it because I'm an artist okay we're celebrating year four at lapstone as part of that design the no pocket hoodie that will drop later this month. As my friend and someone whose grind I respect, I wanted you to have one. I obsessed over the cut, fit, and finish. I really hope you enjoy it. Wishing you continued success in 2020. Rack. Nice, dog. I appreciate you, bro. Appreciate you thinking of me, including me. And uh, I bet this shit, I've seen pictures of it. So I ain't gonna be too surprised about how fire it is because I've seen that it's sick. And I know that you put all kinds of attention and that you're a detail junkie. It's in black, so you know I like it. Already, damn son. Oh, this thing's sick, dog. It's like embroidered on top of screen print. Look at that. Look at that embroidery. Look at that. Look at that quality detail. Drawstrings fire. This little wash on here is super cool. This is a cozy ass material. Here four in the hood. Stitch. Lapstone. Lapstone. The address. Eleven oh six Chestnut. Billy. Go down there. Get you some. That and some dim sum, because I'm sure there's some close by. Rack signature. This shit looks dope. Oh, yeah, so, oh, there's no pocket. That's why it's called a no pocket. I'm so used to doing that. Damn, Rack, got me looking skinny and shit, bro. There's also some fours over here. The quad four. Subway looking fours. This shit's dope. This shit's fire. Thanks, dog. Nice, looking fresh. Looking fresh. Oh, big old oversized hoodie, too. I rock with this. This shit is sick, bro. These cuffs are all huge. This is, mm. Good product, dog. He's gonna drop too. Gotta get you one of these. Hell yeah. Shout out to Rack, bro. Thank you. So, I don't know if this camera will come back on today. Might Twitch, go get something to eat. Not in that order. But yeah, today for me mostly is getting over my artistic frustration and ordering things like stickers and lanyards and getting the next lookbook together. And very, very, very boring. But exciting to me, but boring to film stuff. So probably see you on the way to the mountains in the morning. Mm -hmm.
I just lost the urn. Ernie! You love Mojo's. I lost speed right off the bat. I bet. You want to go to Black Death over there or Mustang? It's all moguls, right? I don't know. You love moguls. I don't love moguls. You said you were a pro. In the powder. Proving time. Proving time, baby boy. This isn't fun. All right, we lost Ern, and we are in no man's land. This is a dead end. I have no fucking idea where we are. We're unstrapped, my little boots undone. Dirty urn, nowhere to be found. He went on his own trek, I guess. We're lost, we're unstrapped. Board just chilling. This little side path, we have to get around this. I don't know if it bottoms out. So I got my stunner shades on. So we're gonna stunner on out of here. We made it out, somehow, some way. We lost her, we're going home. But not before we go to Gian Petra's. Put y'all on. You already know, dog. Gian Petro's. Oh, yeah. Love me some Gian's, dog. Mm -mm -mm. I used to eat this shit every day at the pizza at the tattoo shop. Tattoo shop over there. Underneath this pizza place that I used to work at in the winter. All my friends left. The owner passed away. Now a bunch of new people work there. All right, let's go. I hit off a charge real fast, but we're not gonna make it home. We came out to, Alex works at this uh, this rescue, this animal rescue, horse rescue. I don't really know how you describe it. I guess like barnyard animal rescue. We, as some of you know, we've been looking for a rescue dog Ugh, to play with Omar because uh, Abner doesn't really play with him. So there's a little uh, young, lady named Luna. It's a little pit bull out here and I just stopped by on the way home to go check out. I'm thinking Omar and Abner are out here too. They might all be playing. It's like me. It sounds like we might be taking this dog home for like a trial period. You to really like 
pay attention to them the next couple of days because I like her. She's sweet. No, I understand but, if she doesn't play, yeah. I don't want her on here either. She's a big dog. I don't want the project either. Good girl. <laughs> she got such a big tail no more. Whoa! 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 Ah. Survived the first night with the dogs. I don't know how this is gonna work out. Luna's got Luna's got a lot to learn for sure. She's gonna stay. So we'll, we'll see what happens. Today is crazy as fuck for me. Leave tomorrow for Houston, so I gotta go get my hair cut right now. I gotta go by the studio, grab some stuff. I gotta pack. I gotta edit, do the lookbook today, like random business stuff. Me and Ern are supposed to go begin our Denver pizza pizza challenge. You know, trying to find the best pizza in Denver. So we're gonna try and start that today too. Now, we gotta go see Sans and get this motherfucking haircut. Cause your boy is looking the opposite of fresh today. Last week. Whole month maybe, I don't remember last. Getting your haircut takes so fucking long, dog. Really, God, y'all got me blocking the box, son. Damn, you played me. They played me. Blocking. Yeah, pull up. As days do, they unfold differently than you expect. The pizza challenge is about to get postponed. Postponed? Postponed. His dirty urn, who was supposed to be on his way, just hit me and said that he's not gonna make it. He had to cancel his Uber. He's being very, very decoded, which means something's probably going on. But I'm already sitting over here, so I'm gonna go grab at least a slice or two of pizza, probably. And then I gotta hit the studio, and then I gotta head home anyway. So I ain't got time for this shit today. I don't even know if I want pizza right now. I might even just skip it. I gotta think. So, a few things here. Whew. All right, so pizza is canceled. Well, I still went and got pizza, just not at the place that we were supposed to because I found in my head that there are rules I've made up for my pizza challenge. <clears throat> Basically, Denver, I'm gonna go all around Denver and surrounding areas and find all the best pizza because there's a lot of new pizza places and a lot of shit I haven't tried. So, instead of calling everything here trash, I'm gonna try this other stuff. So today, when I got stood up by Ern, just went ahead and went to a spot that I always go to, which is my, probably my favorite pizza in town. Can't remember the name of this place. They have really good thin crust pizza. I know I have footage of their card. I can't remember if I actually took the card with me. Oh, yeah, here it is. Pizzeria Coperta. They apparently have other restaurant called Beast and Bottle and Coperta. I never had those, but Pizzeria Coperta, I like that thin crust. I do. So, <clears throat> we're gonna start the pizza challenge, I guess. Ah, just, oh shit, there's so many cords, you have no idea. I'm gonna start the pizza challenge. When I get home from Houston, which I am about to go pack for, because I leave at like seven o'clock in the morning. So I need to actually get that shit on and popping. So, a couple of things. I had this idea, because the internet's such a funny place. I, I really, I understand clickbait now. I really do. People clickbait, not necessarily for the view count, but to prove, proving that people are ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? A ridiculous title is needed sometimes because people are ridiculous. If you saw the amount of DMs that I get based on things like Sean Witherspoon moving to Adidas, uh, me not buying shoes at the rate that I was before. Any, insert any kind of other ridiculous statement in here. How about this ridiculous statement on the internet? That I'm worth $13 million. Now, I am worth way more than $13 million. But is my net worth in society, this society here, 13 million based on IMDB and all these things that this website says? I don't think so. I think I have unlimited potential to earn. Get the signals from space and create things to fill up other spaces, you know? That I believe. Billions, endless numbers of money, energy, whatever you want to say. But it is ridiculous. And <clears throat> that is why I have been rattling with the title that I wanted to name this vlog, even though it has nothing to do with this vlog, that I signed to Jordan Brand. Just because I thought that it was ridiculous. I signed to Jordan Brand, I'm worth 13 million. Now I'm worth 13 million. Oh, that'd be good, that'll get them. I, it, 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 it's almost just like an experiment of fun, you know? People are so hung up on view counts and things. So what if I just get a high view count by tricking everybody? Does that make people feel better? It probably shouldn't. Maybe some people would only click on it, find something they like because of the clickbait. Because people are too silly to click on things that are appropriately titled. Maybe that's it. I don't really care either way, but it's gonna have. I, I might just have fun with it because my actual, the actual people that fuck with me read the titles and probably know that I need just up to some shit. And people love. To, I love to troll, so 
probably gonna end up doing it. So one thing I've uh, <clears throat> been kind of neglecting to do, a couple of companies sent me boost insoles. Uh, I'm sure you guys already know by now that there is a couple of companies that have boost insoles. This company, Upmatic, they were the first ones to send them to me. It looks like you take, there two, oh, I guess there's two different kinds. Yeah, I guess two different kinds. It's gotta be. One is just like a thinner one, one's a thicker one, thinner and thicker. I haven't tried them yet. So I'm not really giving you any kind of review. I'm just letting you know that I have. These you're supposed to trace uh, your regular insole. Before I leave tomorrow, so I'm gonna put these in for the shoes that I'm wearing. What shoes am I wearing, you might ask? Well, for the last probably week, I've been wearing one pair and it's been, ah, you've probably noticed, maybe, I don't know. These, the Kith Trail Hiker, whatever they're called, I don't even know. Size 12 and a half, so you can, you can have size down if you're looking for them. Yeah, I've been wearing these a lot just because nice to have one pair. And uh, I'm gonna start running my shoes on the ground, see what see what happens when we get through what we got. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then the other company sent me some stuff. Hefe Lux. Hefe Lux. Look at that, look at that son. Packs. These are different insoles. I don't know what the difference is here. I will say the Upmatic one uses the word boost all over it. They're made by BASF and they're there's no, no one suing them, it doesn't seem like, so. Okay, so these are a little thinner. One of these. These are, I think, fit. These are like size 13s from them, so these just fit. <laughs> oh, I think these are the same. Maybe not. Oh, yeah, this one's a little thicker. Okay. Got a little thicker Johns on the second one. I gotta keep these separate and get this. I already fucked it up. I think they're marked differently. Are these thicker? Oh, shit. Oh yeah, these are definitely thick. These are easily thicker. It's like a whole boost pad on that shit. Yeah, I gotta try these out and see what's up. I haven't tried them. Companies probably hate me because I'm the worst at this shit. But uh, <clears throat> I will try them here, so. Get it. We'll figure out if they're worth comfortable. I don't know, they make some of your disgustingly uncomfortable shoes comfortable. I don't know. If I did sign a Jordan brand, maybe I would have to use something like this to make to make it work you know no sign of dirty urn since the mountain yesterday hopefully hopefully he's uh no sign of dirty urn from the mountain maybe he didn't show up for the pizza challenge today he's still stuck out there on the hill because we definitely lost each other i think that's it i better get to editing i gotta get packing editing dogs oh so the dogs probably that's a few questions taking in luna AKA Luna Del Rey, AKA the lunatic. She's on a little trial run, test run, to see if her and Omar get along and if they play and if it works out with each other. So far, I think that she's probably not gonna stay. She's very sweet and she's very, I think a very good dog. Um, and we're giving her lots of love. But she, I think she, you know, she's a rescue who's gonna need really individual attention. And so far they haven't started to play. So we're, we're gonna see, I'm gonna be gone the next four days, but Alex is gonna see how they interact. And Luna interacts with the rabbit. Cause we can't, we can't have no carnage. You know what I'm saying? We can't, it's just too much emotion. If something happens to the rabbit, no fucking way. So, um, I don't know what's gonna happen. She is a very sweet dog. And there's already people who are asking to take her if we don't take her. So nothing wrong with being in the middle of helping a dog have a better life. Not gonna get attached to her yet, but she's, like I said, very, very sweet. So yeah, that's what we're doing. That's what's going on. I'm a pack. See ya in the AM.